It's high time for some arrows here in Minehead. Over on board two, it's Ireland versus Austria. Steve Lennon takes on Zoran Lerchbacher and to kick things off on the main stage here in the main arena. It's the 11th seed, Darren Webster, facing Spaniard Tony Alcinas. Over to our MC for the next three days, as ever, it is John McDonald. Hello and a very warm welcome. You've joined us live here at Butlins Minehead for the Mr. Greensboro Players Championship Finals brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation. We are live on ITV Sport. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands joining us here live and the millions joining us around the world, it's time to meet the players. Would you please welcome Tony Alcinas and the Demolition Man, Darren Webster! very colour coordinated with the setting here in Minehead. We're ready for our first bit of action. And all set for us in the commentary box, we've got a couple of students of the game, Alan Warren a little, and good afternoon, Stuart Pike. Hi, Jackie, yeah, great to be here. The 10th Players' Championship Finals, and would you believe the sixth that we've had here at Butlins in Minehead. 64 players, 17 debutants, all with one aim, to try and beat Michael Van Gerwen. Absolutely, good afternoon, Stuart, good afternoon, everyone. Here we are in Mad Minehead. First game, as you can see, Dan Webster. If you remember last year, semi finalist, 6 0 up against Van Gerwen. Eventually, Van Gerwen prevailed. Well, that was incredible, wasn't it? Absolutely incredible. I think you and I did the game. 6 0, and six golden legs of darts. He couldn't do anything wrong, and he saw the finishing line, didn't he? And Michael Van Gerwen in the semis beat him 11-8. The rest is history. Van Gerwen winning another title. He's just completed a hat-trick of Grand Slam titles. Van Gerwen will see him tonight. Here is, well, previously known as Antonio Alcinas. First leg is to throw first. Call me Tony. So we will. Webster against Tony Alcinas. First to six to be the first man through to the last 32. Yes, the Spaniard 100. is in some of the best form for quite some years, you have to say. But the Demolition Man is a much tougher opponent these days. He's a semi-finalist, as we mentioned. 22. Season, galvanised a wonderful season. A Players' Championship as well. Certainly very confident. 100. Improved. Looking for another good weekend. To rise in the rankings. And Alcinas. 55. One of those 17 debutants in the Players' Championship Finals. Of course, we'll also keep you right up to date with what's happening on board two this afternoon. 16 matches uh, this afternoon, 16 more this evening to complete day one. 35. Well, Alcinas. Which just still in the practice room. 140. He seems to be. I mentioned he's in pretty good form. Won one of the World Championship qualifiers, didn't he? Well, he did, yeah. Got himself to the World Championships, and that is a very tough school. 134. That only requires 78. Well, he missed the big 18. Well, he's making a bit of a mess of it, but he's so 30. far ahead. I was going to say, 10 scored. His, well, yeah, he just mind off things there didn't he still got plenty of time though the thing with first to six as these players 48. know they play all the players championships in these 
can't afford to go too far behind early on. First dart for Webster in tops. 1 0. Yeah, Alcinas winning that South European qualifier for the Ali Pali. 59. But you know, he also he had a golden four or five weeks, didn't he? He reached out. He came from nowhere. Nowhere. He, he sort of not really been playing at all well. Got to a quarterfinals of a Players' Championship. Got to a semi final uh, in Dublin, the Players' Championship. Lost to Peter Wright. Beat Webster. 6 1 on the way. And then qualified for the World Championship. So it was like everything happened all at once for him. 43. Both good players, but as, as we know, it's very, very difficult, isn't it, to open the show? Yeah, playing in the first round is always difficult because you want to get yourself well and truly into the tournament. But playing the very first game of the tournament. Certainly earlier in the day than most of the other players will be later on. It's almost in your mind. I was with Darren last night when we did the show in the other venue. It was in top notch form, looking forward to his game. Better from Alcinas. Ah, possible 13 darts here. 55. Antonio Requal, 32. Didn't do anything in the first leg. Game Actually, the second it's double four. Antonio Alcinas. Level up. Game on. Winner of this to play Mervyn King. 100. Or Brendan Dolan in the second round. 43. Yeah, the tenth one. We go all the way back to the Circus Tavern, don't we? When Phil Taylor beat Robert Wonder. Thornton and Paul Nicholson with his only major. We see Kevin Painter win his only PDC major. I think he mentioned you as well, didn't he? When he, he did. Won that, Kevin. 100. He did. Gave you a bit of welly. Doncaster. Looking to fill it up here. And fill it up he does. First maximum of the tournament from the demolition man. That in your car, 121. Doesn't need to go for treble 17 ball. They go for 25 for the last one. 50 is okay. Probably 15 for double eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah, good from Alcinas just keeps him in the hunt. Double eight. He's there we go. The so that's always a good sign. Sixty. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen looking for three on the spin. In fact, he's won three out of the last four. Players' Championship. The one in between was one out of forty. Gary Anderson. One hundred. Elson just looks like he's found his park a little bit better. Started off slow, had a decent second leg. 140. Webster now attacking the throw. And it's first to six. If you do lose no, your throw, you're immediately under a lot of pressure to try and get it back. Nice solid scoring from Webster. Well, important visit here for the Spaniard, isn't it? Got to get a treble. 41. And he hasn't, so he's in a spot of trouble. What he also does gives Darren Webster the option of not going for the ball because he's not left to finish, and that's exactly what he's done there. It's normally, Balson has to be a ton, and they've had to go for the ball. Five should be the shot here, yeah. Five. Leads a straight turn. And Webster double with the first dart. And the two previous legs he's won. 
He's only got one left. Oh, he nails it with the last one. We won. Yeah, there's the break of throw. Um, Game on. That could be absolutely crucial, as you say, in a in a race to six. One hundred and twenty. Yeah, amongst the the stars on view on the main stage on the opening afternoon, Thornton, Cullen, Chisnell, Bunting, Hybrex, Lewis. Eighty-four. What a big tournament it is for Adrian Lewis. We've seen him a little is. later on. Certainly is, Stuart. Quite a few other players are in the same boat as well. 137. Yeah, they've played the Pro Tour all season. This is the culmination of the Players' Championship 22 events. 140. So no doubt all these players would have played each other at some point during the season. Quite a few debutants as 29. well. 29. Looking at the score there. Oh, this is well, a this good, is good pressure. You can fill it in. Oh, oh brilliant darts from the Spaniard. Gives him the outside chance to break him back. 85. Antonio Nicoan, 97. 19, yes. Tops for 3 2. Important dart. Well, this for a 12 darter. 77. The so one treble 20 gives him a shot at the ball, of course. That's a big opportunity for Elsinas, but he's going to have another one. 65. Quite fancy Antonio Webster to at least have a throw at the ball there. Well, to stay in the match, you feel this has to go, and it does. He's so Antonio Elsinas uh, hits Alcinas. back, breaks back, and it is game on in our opening game of the 2017 Players' Championship Final. And we'll be back for the finale soon with Darren Webster leading Antonio Alcinas by three legs to two. Welcome back to the opening afternoon of the Players' Championship Finals 2017 here at Butlins in Minehead. Uh, Darren Webster 3-2 up on Spain's Antonio Alcinas, uh, and over on board two, Six uh, legs, Lennon, Antonio uh, leads first. the Austrian Soran Lerkbacker by three legs to one. Lennon, the Irishman, missing darts to go 4-0 up, 3-1 the score over on uh, uh, board two. 44. And Alcinas back in it by breaking in the fifth leg but that's I think that's probably the third time on throw that Alcinas has made a really Eight poor start won. with his own darts yes he seems to have that in his locker he's done well to get it back to 3-2 and keep himself in the match really because if it had been 4-1 down 45. would have been in serious trouble a 44 and 45 that's what you were throwing in the exhibition here at, at Butlins last night, wasn't it? Wasn't that 60. good? Yeah, Alan Warren a little and Chris Mason played in an exhibition here last night. 2,000 people. Nerves got the better of them. Warren are losing to Andy Fordham and Mason whitewashed by Bobby George. He was distraught, Mason. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting some stick ever since. 99. Yeah, everybody in the ITV crew were Bobby George fans, weren't they? For, for half an hour. Well, for 10 minutes, for all the match took. <laughs> well, Webster here. With a chance for another break of throw, and bear in mind that this match would go to a deciding leg. Webster would have the darts. It's been a really poor response from Alcinas after the break of throw. Tops for Webster. Well, I was just going to say, even if Webster misses this after a poor leg, Alcinas still has to take out a big shot. He's already had 15 darts as well. Mm -hmm. That's 16 darts, and he's still not going to get a dart at a double. 
Larry's fifth leg as course. well. It looked like he, he found his range, got himself back into the match. And came out the second half. Quite awful. Oh, 15. well, what a gift. Antonio what a gift this could 45. be. Four missed starts from Darren Webster to go 4 2 up. This would be a real steal. Double 10 left. Oh, big opportunity missed. Well, if, if, if you get an opportunity to have a dart and a double after 20 darts and don't take it. No score. Oh, both Antonio players struggling Uribe in this leg. 10. Scoring hasn't been the best. The doubles. Just eluding them at the moment. Well, that Game is a gift. A 22 first. dart leg to get back to three all after his opponent missed five darts at double. Yeah, massive opportunity there for Webster. You don't hit the double, you don't win the leg. 60. Doubles for show and doubles for doe. Good darts from Webster. Apart from the obvious maximum, he's put that. Missed doubles in the last leg out of his mind. He knows he's still in a good position because he's throwing first. 40. Got to remain positive. Certainly on throw. 16. He's left to finish there, but it doesn't really matter when you look at Alson. That's back on 401. 95. 85. He was hoping to leave better than 80, but that'll do. You could see having a quick look at the board there, wasn't it, to see what Alcinas was on. But tops to regain the lead. 40. Well, after the, those missed starts at the double in the previous leg, and then you miss again. Coming back to the board, the pressure will be on to hit the double. And he may have to. One hundred and forty. Alton Ast gives himself 40. a chance. Oh dear. Antonio Lucar, one hundred and seven. Doubles are eluding the demolition man. Alcina steal another leg and lead. Well, not on this occasion, 59. but again, this double five will seem very small to Darren Webster, but it's hit it. Shake of the head. Well, Snatches the darts out of the board. Relief. Four out of 15 on the doubles. Just relief there, wasn't it? Hitting it because he was in total command of the leg. 100. As I mentioned. Missing the darts in the previous leg. And he's taking it into that one as well. It's all about just getting through here. Sixteen. Yeah, the number eleven seed. One hundred. Alcin has ranked 54. Top seed here, Rob Cross. Remarkable. Earned over £62,000 from players' championship events alone. He is the talk of darts, Rob Cross. And we'll be seeing him a little later on the main stage tonight against Robert Owen. Also tonight. Gurney, Gary Anderson, Michael Van Gerwen and Peter Wright. Chance here, 11 or treble. Is it the single? So it's Bull. 96. It just shows Antonio you the quality, Leopold, Stuart, doesn't it? And 15 different winners on the Players' Championship events out of the 22. There's a single. He gets it. The tops for 4-4. Four, four. 22. It just felt all through that Alcinas has been off the pace. Double four. And Webster will now be throwing 
before the match. Just a dart behind, hasn't he, the Spaniard? He's just not really been at the races. Darren Webster hasn't been great, to be honest, averaging just 88 and missing a stack of doubles, but you just felt that he's always had the game in his hands. Yeah, neither player's throwing at the double, One though, with great confidence. Three. Maybe, again, that we mentioned the pressure of the first game of the tournament, obviously the first round, but the first game of the actual event. One out of the But despite all those missed doubles, demolition man. Five through your head. And hits his third maximum. He's in again. 25 for the last one, or oh, trouble seven. Oh, what a wonderful visit. What a leg, double Darren 10 Webster. data. Well, when you think of all those missed doubles, yeah. all of a sudden he sees one the finishing line and leaves himself Darren tops one after one nine. Wow. Yeah, what a way to win it! A 10 dart leg from the demolition man who does a demolition job on Spain's Antonio Alcinas. Darren Webster enjoying himself. Why not? He's the first man through to the last 32 of the Players' Championship Finals. Webster, a 6-3 winner over Alcinas.